Hey everybody, I'm David Dianni. Welcome to Lesson 2 on Drumming in All Directions. Published by Hal Leonard, visual version published by Wisdom Media, available in Hudson Music. DID is a new kind of coordination system that's about achieving all limb freedom. That's when our four limbs work harmoniously together to execute anything we want while playing. But as discussed in Lesson 1, all limb freedom can be elusive for two reasons. First, the 25 basic limb motions haven't been fully mastered. And second, the all-important free stroke isn't fully integrated throughout our four limbs. By using the free stroke to train all four limbs with the 25 basic motions, DID opens the door to a solid coordination technique and all limb freedom. The key to drumming in all directions is the four limb matrix, a progressive ordering of the 25 motions. It starts with two limb motions, like right hand alternating with left foot. You can see. Then moves on to unison pairings, like right hand, right foot, alternating with left hand, left foot, like this, on either side of the body. Next, three limb motions, like left hand, right foot, alternating with left foot, something like this. And finally, four limb motions, like left hand, alternating with everything else. So it would be like... You'll notice an arrow between limbs indicates the alternating motions. Control workouts are the core of DID. These specially designed variation grids are how we train the limb motions. Progressively ordered into duple and triplet routines, the workouts are based on figures I call rhythm melodies, which are essential components in our drumming vocabulary. The limb motions then play the rhythm melodies through the variation grid of each workout. Notice notes above the staff are limbs left of the arrow, notes below are limbs right of the arrow. And the workouts are designed to flip lead every bar so strong and weak limbs get equal development. For example, here's duple time workout 3.2. I'll play each line once using two limb motion, left hand to right foot. After training the 25 motions, we can then add timekeeping patterns. In the three limb matrix, we add one ostinato to the limb motions, like a ride pattern. In the two limb matrix, we add two ostinatos, like a ride pattern and a hi-hat foot pattern.
The last part of DID are groove solos. Based on the control workouts, these solos offer more creative material to further develop the limb motions. The intro and closing solos in this video are examples of groove solos. For more info on drumming in all directions, check out Hal Leonard, Hudson Music, or my own website, davidyanni.com. Next time I'll demonstrate how to work through DID to increase your coordination level. Till then, I look forward to seeing you.